Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a second apartment building for Plymouth Isle. This time it's a little bit more modern than the last one. The last one was Harborview Apartments and that was kind of a more modern building that had like a shop in it and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one is... Um, or actually that was a more traditional building, not more modern building. This one is the more modern building. Um, so yeah, I kind of imagined that this apartment building would kind of be more um, like more like 70s, not 70s, maybe more like 90s kind of modern. Um, so like maybe a little bit dated, but more modern. And it's kind of like right here in the town center um, on lot number 17. It's actually in between the consignment store and um, the uh, Seagull Starter House that I did in the summer. So yeah, this uh, build kind of had an important role of kind of filling the gap between like the three story consignment store and that like one story house. So I kind of wanted something that would fit in between um, and that would kind of make sense for like the density of the town center. So I decided to go for a smaller apartment building. So this one has four apartments in it. Of course, you know, it is functional. Your sim can live here. They can have this apartment that I'm going to actually finish. The other ones I'm going to use hidden room markers in so that they will um, just be black rooms. But I did set the doors on those apartments to be NPC doors. So your sim can like knock on them and someone will come out, you know, like as if they live there. Um, so yeah, I did do that. Um, this uh, apartment ends up being pretty inexpensive. It's like 26,000 simoleons. And that's because um, when I did the last apartment building, someone told me that I should put public room markers um, on the outside and like basically everywhere where it's not like the actual apartment. So I did do that here. And because when you put a public room marker in, it doesn't, um, anything that's like in that space doesn't um, actually count toward the value of the lot. So since I put public room markers outside and like on the balconies and stuff of the other apartments, none of that stuff um, actually went toward the value of the lot or the value that your sim would pay to live here. So um, I did do that. And I also, um, you know, of course, put in uh, hidden room markers in the other apartments and set the doors as NPC doors. So it functions like an apartment from late night wood, basically. Um, but yeah, so this uh, building is like two stories. It has four units. Um, and the idea here is that each one is kind of accessible from outside. So there's no like um, inside like lobby or interior doors. Um, each unit is, you know, has its own front door on the outside of the building. So there's two downstairs and you can see I'm getting in some doors for them right now. I do change out the doors later though because the ones I first put in looked a little bit too depressing. But yeah, so if essentially, um, you know, these two down here, I end up like just putting the hidden room markers and I don't actually furnish them. Um, the one that actually has rooms in it is the one that I will be finishing off. Um, and then uh, the upstairs ones have like those stairs you can see that go up to them. And there's like a little vestibule or kind of like a little indented area for the front door there for those ones. So the upstairs ones are a little bit smaller because um, there's like balconies here so I kind of um, inset the walls in the front and back of those so the balconies are a little bit bigger and then also because of that inset for the front doors makes them a fair amount smaller than the ones downstairs would be but they do have a nice ocean view um, and oh yeah I didn't mention at the beginning but this is called sea view apartments um, for a couple of reasons one because it does have a view of the, of the ocean which is nice um, and also because um, it's on the road that I named Sea View Lane, so I thought, why not just name it that? Um, but yeah, it has it has nice views, I mean, which you'll see in the screenshots at the end, um, like on, on these balconies and kind of in the back here, because it does like back up right to the ocean, um, to the harbor kind of area, which is pretty nice. So yeah, basically that's that's what it has there. But um, yeah, here I'm just doing some coloring stuff. So I'm just coloring these kind of brick walls here. Um, so like the, the main exterior colors are all white. So you have like this white brick and then the white stucco. And I'm also gonna recolor all the windows and doors to be white as well. But it doesn't look like really depressing or anything. I actually am quite happy with how it turns out, especially with the landscaping. The landscaping helps a lot because otherwise you know, without it, it does look kind of, um, you know, dull, but uh, landscaping helps. Uh, here I'm putting a little backyards in, so it's like little uh, fences there to kind of create privacy, and a fence, um, a little more, um, or a less noticeable fence there around the back, so that you're, in theory, in theory, people wouldn't just be falling down like the hillside into the ocean. So, you know, that's just there for a little bit of safety. Um, and here I'm getting in some trees and stuff. So just putting those in. So as you can see, he's getting some uh, of that kind of landscape and stuff going on. Um, but this is not a very long build because it was pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, the building itself is pretty simple. And then actually furnishing the one apartment was pretty quick because it's a pretty small apartment, uh, which you'll see once we get to that. But here I'm just doing some landscaping. And again, none of this adds to the cost of the 
apartment because I did put public room markers in. And so that's all good. Um, but yeah, so anyways, doing that, um, and getting some bushes here. I think this is probably going to be the, um, last apartment that I'm going to do in Plymouth Isle. So there's like a lot of fake, um, or like, um, for show apartments that I put on community lots, like the laundromat and like the grocery store. Like I put them next to rabbit holes and stuff. And I put them on other lots as like, you know, the upstairs of different buildings, but they're like just for show. They don't actually work as apartments because your Sims can't like, um, Oh, well, they can own the lot, but, you know, they can't, like, put an oven there. It can't, like, be a house lot. So um, those are mainly for show. And then I built the Harborview Apartments um, last month. And so that's kind of the uh, one of the apartment buildings. And then this is the other one. Um, it's a pretty small island. I feel like it's probably enough apartments at this point. So from here on out, I'll be doing houses. But um, I did want to put an apartment building here because I felt like it would be a good spot, especially next to a building like the consignment store, which is a pretty big building. Uh, so I thought this would be like, a good place for a little apartment building that kind of fits between this and like a house, you know, that's why it's pretty low. It, it, it doesn't, it's not like on a foundation. It's only two floors, you know, it's meant to be like a, a lower profile and like the modern aesthetic kind of fit that pretty well. So that's what I went with here. But anyway, the apartment itself is pretty small. You can see I have the kitchen in already. There wasn't actually enough room for a dining room. So I ended up putting the dining table outside on the balcony. So yeah, you know, it's a little weird, but it, it works. Um, and I'm also getting in uh, some like wood paneling in here again it's it's meant to look like modern but also like a little like dated like it's like what was modern you know like in the 90s or early 2000s sort of thing um so that's what i'm doing with this but um or not modern what was contemporary then um but anyway here i'm just doing uh just recoloring the counters and cabinets here it's also supposed to be like a lower end sort of thing because it is like an apartment so you know it's supposed to be like a little bit lower end i'm um, not that apartments can't be nice but you know it's um it's meant to be a lower, a little bit of a lower end apartment. Um, so that's kind of the idea here. That's kind of the, the look and feel I went for. So, um, also it helps keep the cost down. So, you know, 26,000 simoleons is pretty good, um, for one of my houses, considering a lot of houses I build cost so much. Um, so, you know, it's not a starter home at all, obviously, but you know, it's still pretty inexpensive for your Sims to buy. Uh, but anyway, here I'm just, uh, you know, getting in some details and stuff in the kitchen area, in the living room area. Um, it's like a, a little love seat, a chair, and also a TV there, and a little rug, which is nice. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the main living space. But I'm also going to do the uh, bathroom now. So yeah, this is a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. So this is the bathroom right here. Um, has a just a stall shower and a sink and a toilet. And uh, again, pretty simple design here. I use that flooring though that I really like um, from Generations, which I've been using a fair amount uh, recently, but also a nice towel there, a little bit of a light over the toilet, and then also a mirror there as well. And yeah, it's pretty much it for the bathroom. You can see it's coming together real quick. Um, a lot quicker than I usually take. A lot of times I take forever to build houses, but this one, this one was pretty easy to do. Um, here I'm working on the bedrooms. This is the master bedroom. Uh, it has access to that front balcony. You can see the door there. And then like the rear balcony that faces the ocean is uh, like where the living space is. So you kind of get the ocean view from like the living room kitchen, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, I thought that's kind of like what you'd want. Anyway, here I'm just getting in uh, some various items and details and stuff. Also a nice mirror there on that wall. I also have an accent wall there that's kind of like the wood paneling as well. But also getting in a rug here and uh, adding some color to that. But there you go. That's the... Um, master bedroom. So we're going to do this little kid's room here, um, or it could be like an office or something, or I guess if you wanted to make this like the dining room of the house, you could do that too, um, since there is no inside dining room. But um, yeah, and of course you can let download this lot. Uh, there's a link in the description below. I built this on lot number 17. Um, so, you know, uh, if you want to, you can download that. And if you haven't uh, seen the um, Plymouth Isle series where I created this world, um, I'd recommend checking out the playlist on my channel of that. You can also check out a lot more uh, house design videos like this one on my channel, whether they're for Plymouth Isle or not. I have uh, uh, playlists for like just all my house design videos and then one for just uh, Plymouth Isle house design videos. But yeah, anyway, here we're just doing that bedroom, getting in that rug, uh, just recoloring some of the outdoor furniture here. So uh, there's like a lounge, some lounge chairs. Um, so there's like one there, there's a couple for that downstairs apartment right there. And there's like a dining table for that one, just so it looks a little bit detailed from outside. You know, it doesn't look like all these empty balconies. Um, so even though these are like empty apartments, um, there's actually looks like, it looks like there could be, you know, someone living there because there's stuff on the balconies. But anyway, just adjusting those bushes there because they were kind of uh, clipping through the wall. But 
Yep, just recoloring the stairs here, just making it look nice. I did like put flooring and walls in the other apartments, but no rooms because, um, you know, once I put the hidden room marker in there, it's just going to be all black anyway. Um, I had some trouble actually like setting the doors to be NPC doors because it turns out you have to like make a room. Like um, you can't have the door on the outside. So like I have all the doors obviously going just to the outside. So placing the public room marker just on the outside a lot isn't enough. You have to like make a little room around the door on the outside and have a hidden room marker on the inside, a public room marker on the outside, and then you can set it as an NPC door. So that's what I ended up doing, and then I deleted the wall that I built around the outside doors. I did this off camera because I couldn't figure it out while I was building it, so I did it later. But yeah, I ended up, uh, I did do it, even though you can't see me actually succeed here. Um, so I just had to build like a little wall around the doors, place a public room marker in there, set the doors as NPC doors, then remove the walls and just leave the public room marker on the outside. But I did figure it out. So I also tested it out in live mode, so it does work. Um, there are sims that will spawn when you knock on the door. Anyway, there's like the apartment building uh, mailbox there. And I'm also getting in a trash can as well and just doing some terrain paint. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, greatly, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and uh, leave any comments or feedback in the comments section down below. But yeah, uh, there'll be some screenshots coming up very soon. So I hope you stick around for those. It'll give you a little bit of a better idea of what it all looks like from like a first person perspective. Also, I put a skip level marker there on the freeze level just so it's not so annoying in gameplay. And also um, just a few more details, like some air conditioners on the roof and a little electric box on the outside. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day.